Hey Cougars, I'm Jack CV. I'm Morgan Ames, and you're watching CTTV, bringing you stories from the trail. Our first story takes place right here in the CRC, where students come to receive academic help from peer shooters. But who exactly started CRC, and why did they choose to do so? Student journalists Edward Tay and Emma Tran bring you an in-depth report on the subject with CRC founder Molly Robbins to find out more. The reason I tutor up at the CRC is just to help out, because now that I'm a senior, I know what, where I struggled in past classes, so it's, it's good for me to help um, other people. With more students coming to the CRC, students have volunteered to help tutor. I think the fact that it's very youth-based um, is the fact that you're getting help from your fellow peers, because a lot of times um, your teachers can't explain the way that you would want them to, and sometimes your fellow friends can help be that um, barrier to that. Math seems to be the more difficult subject that students need help in. I used to struggle a lot, uh, particularly with math and science classes, so I uh, understand firsthand the struggle, and I love to be um, that help for them. Tutors each have their own way of helping students. I like to ask them what they're struggling with and see why before I help them just so I can see where they're coming from. I try to, what I try to do is try to like lead them to their resources. Um, I don't like to try to do the work for them or tell them exactly what to do. I like having them to look at the resources like their class notes or even Google um, and help them work through the process rather than me telling them what to do. The tutors help provide an environment that makes students more comfortable to learn. I think it's really, it's just a really chill environment up here. Um, everyone is welcome, so it's just, it's a very inviting space and everyone is generally pretty nice to each other. The biggest important part about my job is that I always try to like welcome people in with smiles um, because, you know, I'm the first person that they see and who they like uh, leave. So I need to make sure that they're um, coming in with a uh, welcoming environment and leaving with a positive um, mentality. Thanks to their hard work, they ensure that every student succeeds in their struggling classes. Edward Tay, CTTV. Hey Jack, can I ask you a question? Of course, what's up? Do you play any instrument? I do, actually. In fact, I consider myself quite the tuba master. Why do you ask? I just think it's a segue into our next story. Thomas and Jackson Goodwin are current high school seniors and longtime CT Pet Band members. Recently, the two were selected to play in the Colorado State University Honor Bands. Tromini Executive Editor Lena Donatelli Talk with the twins to further discuss what this means to them. So CSU Honor Band is one, um, several colleges put together um, honor bands that, that, that allow students from across the state to audition for. Uh, it's also a way for kids to get together with other like-minded, really talented band kids. Individually selected by a board of professionals, the CSU Honor Band is made up of exceptional high school students. Among them are brothers Thomas and Jackson Goodwin. So it was after school one day. Um, we were in the pit orchestra rehearsing for the musical. The results came out um, through email um, and told us all about it, and we were super, super, super excited. For the Goodwin twins, music is more than just a hobby, but rather a passion that strengthened their bond as siblings. So music, shaping with my brother, um, a lot of things what we like to do together is do some duets. We are in a quartet together. Um, we do a lot of music together, not just within whole groups. Um, I love getting tips from him on how to better improve my flute playing. Getting to play music together and, and do it's really, really fun being collaborative in that way um, with him. Seeing as the twins plan to attend different colleges post-graduation, CSU Honor Band is one of the last times that the twins will play side by side, making it all the more meaningful. Oh, I love it. I love it when they get those opportunities to do that because, I mean, next year they're going to be going divergent ways most likely. So to have as many experiences as I can give them to play together, I think it's going to be good. Yeah. So it's exciting. I mean, it's, it's just a great opportunity to spend a weekend um, not only with each other, but with the rest of the people in, in the CT band that made it. Um, and it's just a way to foster some more growth in um, that community, not, not only with me and Jackson, but within the broader CT band. Um, and as a brother, it's just a really cool thing to be able to do something together and know that we both have each other in this aspect. Thomas and Jackson's story seeks to inspire others to find and share their passions. For CTHS News, I'm Lena Donatelli. To see more stories like the one you just saw, make sure to hop on over to our website, cttoday.org. And make sure that you follow the official Trail Media TikTok and Instagram for even more content. Speaking of more content, our next story takes place off campus at the Saddle Rock School of Gymnastics. Where Trail Media reporters Blake Garrett and Savvy Swenson talked with varsity cheerleader Riley Robles and her tumbling coach to discover the impact a mentor can have on their student. 
pushed me to be strong and know I can always do it if I put my mind to it and I shouldn't give up on things even when they're hard. This is Riley Robles, a sophomore in the CT cheer team. She recognizes her tumbling coach, Coach Kim, as her trusted adult. I've kind of tumbled here with her my whole life. I don't think I would be as successful or as strong if I didn't tumble with her. Her whole life has been mainly physical. As she's gotten older, there has been a lot of mental health going on with fear and confidence. I try to guide her through her ability, practicing and being the best that she can be. There was a point where like, I just contemplated not doing the sport that I, I love because it was hard. She made sure I didn't give up. She helped me like not overthink things before I do them. She pushes me to be a better person and she shows me that I don't have to be someone else to be approved of. I think it's important to have a trusted adult so that you have someone to go to when you're struggling and it's, it's someone who can actually like take you to somewhere to help you get better. This is a safe environment because there's always an adult around. There's always someone that you can talk to no matter what the circumstance is. Um, it's a consistent environment every day, every week, every year. I'm proud of you, dude. Trusted adults help guide us to make good decisions and help us to reach our best potential. Mentors are great resources in our lives. How can you recognize one of your own? This is trail media reporter Savvy Swenson and Blake Garrett. Here's our Memphis Sports Report from Dempsey Gibbs and Jake Scott. It's time for sports. Welcome to Sports Report with Dempsey Gibbs. And I am Jake Scott. Although things are getting colder outside, the Cougars are heating up, just like this microwave. That is the truth. That is the truth. You're not really good. You want some or no? There's something inside of here. All right, we're starting off with soccer. They finished fourth, and it's the first time ever they made the final four in school history. Unfortunately, they fell short to Broomfield, lost two to one in overtime. So far, uh, we've made the final four 25% of the time, every time. Uh, we're losing big uh, seniors next year, like Walker Gibbons, uh, Gregory Hansen, Miles Filson. It could be a big impact, but we have a lot of great young players coming in and a lot of great players on JV that can help step up our team next year as well and get to the same spot. Sports. Next up, we have girls swimming. We have junior Ella Draculich, who has the 100-yard breaststroke school record. Uh, we also took Ava Zadigan this year from Grandview, who happens to have our pool record at CT, although transferring from Grandview. Sports. This year, our boys and girls basketball will be getting soon. Uh, we have some returning players for boys basketball, like Lonzo Rogers and uh, Mar Chandler. Lonzo Rogers was a state leader in three-point percentage, and he actually was, he shot 46%. Who do you think he plays a lot like in the NBA? That's a hard one, but I'm definitely going Josh Giddy there. I would say the same thing, yeah, too. Yeah, like the way he moves the ball and just – he gets his teammates, like, going as well. He's yeah. a great player to have on there. Yeah, just like Josh Giddy, he's great. Uh, Mark Chandler, he led the team in rebounding last year. I, I think he's kind of just like a hustle guy, but he also gets oh, yeah. points. Yeah. He's like Dennis Robin, but he's a better scorer, I think. He definitely will have a big breakout season this year, you know. He's converted his role to a big guard. He loves to bring the ball up and attack downhill and beat – his other defenders off the first step, and he's just great at it. Uh, for girls basketball, we also have some turning players like Demara Allen, Talia Strode, Madeline Gibbs, Delaney Miller. Some great players. Uh, we had a great season last year. The girls basketball team actually flipped the record of the men's basketball team, almost. The men's basketball team had a 6-17 and 17 record, and the girls basketball team had a 19-6 and 6 record. Yeah. Uh, they finished 8 in the state last eight year. 8 in the state ranked. Uh, they did pretty... I think they went in the playoffs and did uh, yeah, the second round, second lost to Regis. Lost. It was very close to making the Coliseum, but just fell a little short. I think we'll definitely see them in that state championship this year. Yep. Sports. Our November football was cut short as we lost to Chatfield on November 3rd in the playoffs, 42-7. to It wasn't really our best showing, I would say. It wasn't our best showing. Hey, but you know what we did do? What? We beat Grandview. We yeah. beat Grandview. Yeah. We beat Grandview. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Sports, 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 sports.
We have wrestling coming up again soon. Uh, last year we did pretty well with six wrestlers qualifying for state, including Nate Jackson and Ellis Williams, who is now walking Air Force. Yeah. Speaking of Air Force, we have junior Chance Matthews who recently uh, committed there. He will be continuing his athletic and educational career. And we it'll just be great to have, he had experience last year, you know, to lead hopefully this wrestling team forward. Yeah, uh, last year we had a uh, junior, or now a junior, he won the JV State Championship. His name is Noah Collins, and hopefully he will continue to do that this year on varsity. It'd be and a great addition. As well. yeah. Hopefully Chance Matthews and Noah Collins can help us out this year and take us to the great spot we were last year. Zoom 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 Here's the thing, we started off as friends. It was cool, but it was all pretend and Yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone. Dedicated to the time. Was in love for a car to my hand. Yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone. And all you ever hear me say is how I picture me with you. And all you ever hear me say. Da, da, da. Since you've been gone. I can't breathe for the first time. I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah. Thank you. you. No, no I, do. I get, I get what I want. I get what I want. Since you've been gone. That's all for today, Cougars. Thanks for watching, and remember, we are CT.